Welcome to Excel 2010 Business Math video number 79. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, Excel 2010 Business Math Chapter 9, click on the link below the video. Hey, we're going to start on the or we're on the sheet Simple Discount Note. Now, Simple Discount Note, also called Interest in Advanced Note. So, Interest in Advance. And when you first hear about this, you're like, what? Uh, and so some of you in this class who may not be used to this will do a double take. But here's how it goes. You go into the bank to borrow $1,000. The bank says, oh, yeah, sure. But we're only going to give you $900 today. And then you have to pay the $1,000 back in one year. And you say, what? Why only $900 if I have to pay back 1000 The bank says, we're going to collect the $100 interest up front. This is called a simple discount note. Now, finance and bank people invent all sorts of things, and this is just one of their uh, inventions. Here's the, here are the terms. The proceeds, that's the $900, right? That's the amount the borrower receives. Face value or maturity value, that's the amount the borrower must pay back on due date. Bank discount. That's the interest paid in advance to the bank. Now, we're going to see some strange terms in for simple discount notes. Um, but it's all just in interest, right? Bank discount, that, those, that is the term we're going to use for the dollar amount of interest we paid. But when you pay interest up front like this, we call it bank discount. All right, here's this. Let's do that example, that $900 example. Maturity value or face value. I like to call it maturity value because they're going to refer to it as M. But back uh, in section 9.1 and 2, we call this principal. All right, the simple discount rate. This is really the annual interest rate we've been talking about in this chapter. But discount rate is what they call. So they call it discount rate instead of interest rate. And that's because this is this simple discount or interest in advance note. So M really means principal, but M for us is going to be maturity value. D really means the R, the interest rate, but because it's a discount rate and we're taking the interest out first, they call it D. T, it's still T. Bank discount, ah, oh, here's another one. They're going to call the interest in dollars B for bank discount. And finally, P means proceeds. That means amount you take home. So these are all new variables. Now let's go ahead and make our calculation here to calculate B. B, what's that? That's this bank discount. That's the interest up front. Equals round. And really, check this out. MDT, principal rate time. So principal times rate times time. Remember, that always has to be in fraction of years. But again, they're going to call it maturity value, discount rate, and time. Right? So $1,000 times 10% is going to give us $100. Now to get our proceeds, maturity value minus bank discount. So we're going to take this maturity value or principal minus our interest or bank discount. Right, so that's how much we take home. So that is a simple discount note. Now here is the most important part, and probably is part of the original idea um, that caused the, the bankers to invent this, right? You're quoted 10%. They're, oh, discount rate 10%. But how much do you take home and get to use? You only get to take home $900. So this rate was used to calculate the interest, but it's not the rate of the amount you paid in comparison to what you got to take home and use. Because remember, you borrow money to go and use it to do something. So you only got to borrow $900, right? So the formula is going to be as just we did back in section 9.2. Interest divided by principal times time. But again, we're not going to use that here. This, this formula means the bank discount 
And then we got to compare it. Well, the proceeds, because that's what we brought home. So proceeds divided times 1, right? So in this example, we are going to use this formula. But the basic idea is you're not allowed to compare this 100 to there, because you don't get to use it. You have to compare this 100 to there. So equals this. That's the, in essence, the interest you paid divided by what you got to use. Way more than this 10%. All right, so when you hear a simple discount note or interest in advance, be sure and calculate the effective simple discount rate because that's really the rate that you're paying. Because you only got to use 900 and you paid $100 to use that 900. Now, the full formula will be times our years. I just did it without the years for this first example to see what it really means. right? We're using all these new terms. Bank discount, that means interest in dollar amount. Proceeds, time. right? But the essence is the most important thing here. You used $900 and you paid $100 to use it. So that's, that's where you make the comparison to figure out the interest rate. I'm going to apply general number format right there. Control Shift tilde, or Control Shift grave accent, or your general. All right, let's look at some other examples. Here's example number two. Oh, okay, so we borrowed. We or no, no. Maturity value is two thousand dollars. So we go and say, hey, I want two thousand dollars. They go, okay, we're going to charge you a discount rate of eight uh, percent. You're going to take it out for six months. But we're not going to give you all of this 2000 We're going to take the interest up front. So let's make this calculation. we got to figure out time, fraction of a year. So 6 months divided by 12. And now we're going to calculate what's called a bank discount. That's really the amount of interest they take up front. By the way, I have little things here. Um, you can read those if you want. It's what I just said. But here we go. Bank discount equals round. It's as if we were doing our straight, right? Uh, principal times rate times time. But here they call it maturity value, discount rate, and time. So you went in wanting $2,000. They say, oh, yeah, but we're going to take $80 up front. So what do you get to take home? The proceeds equals this minus, so maturity value, that's the full amount you have to pay back, minus the interest they're going to take out up front are your proceeds, 1920 Now, to really figure out what your effective rate is, because it's, it's going to be more than that, right? we got to use this right here. We don't need to round this, because we're calculating a rate. We're not calculating dollar amounts. So equals, we're going to take the interest we paid called bank discount, and we're going to compare it to the amount we took home and used. But we're also going to have to multiply that amount we took home and used times the uh, fraction of a year. So in parentheses, proceeds, the amount we took home and used, times fraction of a year. Home do general or control shift tilde. 0 0.08333. So again, it is going to be bigger, right? So if you're not paying attention, you go in the bank and let me borrow 2000 Yeah, but we're going to take the interest up front. They take out the 80 bucks, and that's how much you get. All right, one more example. Or no, we have one more example, and then I'm going to show you something slightly different. All right, so we go in, we Want, we say, hey, I want to borrow a thousand bucks. The bank says, yeah, but we're going to take the ten percent interest out up front. The loan is for two hundred and seventy days, so I'm going to divide this by three sixty. We'll do banker's interest, right? Now, RB means bank discount. Really, is just a fancy way to say the interest that they take up front, right? So. Maturity value times discount rate times time, comma two, because we're dealing with pennies here. 75 bucks. Now we simply say maturity value minus the bank discount, the interest. So you get to take up take home 925. Now the effective interest rate, again, you wanted to borrow a thousand, but they only let you 
take 925. So that's what you're going to go and use. So you compare the interest or bank discount you paid to this equals the bank discount or interest divided by, well, the proceeds. We didn't have them for the whole year, so we have to multiply them times the time. Control Shift tilde. I applied general there. So I should probably open. I have this minimized up here so I can unminimize it. Or Control F1. Control F1 is a toggle for the ribbon. So you can see there's general. Whoops. But here's the deal. You walk in and say, I want $1,000. And they only give you $925. But you're like, no, no, I need $1,000. Well, how are you going to figure out that? Well, we're going to use a slightly different formula. Now, uh, if at our website you can download, I have PDFs for and it has all the formulas for sections 9.1, 9.2, and I have these embedded in the Excel workbook. But if you want to download these, here's the formulas for section 9.3, which is what we're doing, the sim simple discount notes. OK, so if you're calculating your bank discount, right, that's the bank discount, that's the interest paid up front, that's B, it's maturity value times discount rate times time. Effective simple discount rate, bank discount, that means the interest paid up front, divided by proceeds times times. Maturity value, that's the formula we're going to use right here. Proceeds divided by 1 minus discount rate times time. And that is the whole trick here. We will pl plug in the proceeds we want, and it will tell us how much we need to borrow or pay back at maturity. All right, so let's go over to Excel. If you come over here, there's a little uh, red triangle there. For those of you that like algebra and want to see how that formula was derived, there it is. All right, so here's our proceeds. We want $1,000. We have a discount rate and our time. And our goal is to calculate the maturity value. So we're going to do proceeds divided by, in parentheses, 1 minus discount rate times time. So round our proceeds divided by 1 minus discount rate times, be sure the time is the fraction of the year. And then comma 2. So all we did was you took proceeds, divided it by 1 minus discount rate times time. So there it is, $1,081.08. So the difference between the two would be the interest that the bank takes from you. Right, control Shift 4 to add currency there. All right, our second example, same situation. You walk in uh, and you say, no, no, I really want 18000 I don't want you to take the interest out of that. So our, we know what the proceeds, that's the amount we want to take home. And now we need to figure out what the face value or maturity value is. All right? So proceeds divided by 1 minus discount rate times time. Proceeds divided by, in parentheses, 1 minus discount rate times time, comma 2. Add some currency there. So you need to actually borrow $18,947.37. So I'm going to take that minus this. That's the interest, right? So you borrow this amount. The contract says this amount. And they will go ahead and give you this amount. Now we could do some check in here, right? Equals, we'll take the maturity value times the rate times the time, comma 2. 
and that'll give us a check for our interest. That's a check interest uh, for uh, B. You know, my preference, I'd call it interest no matter what. I teach finance classes too, and the same thing, they have all these different words, but it's all just interest. And I wish they'd stick to one word. All right, so that was a little check there. All right, so in this video, we talked about simple discount notes. We saw a couple of examples. Uh, we saw our new terminology, MDT, B for interest, amount, called bank discount and proceeds. And we also saw how to back in when we know what we want. And we need to figure out how much to borrow. All right, uh, that's it for section 9.3. You're going to go do the homework for that. And then uh, that's, that's it for chapter 9. Next chapter, we'll do compound interest. See you next video.